All right, guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Big C, back in action. Today, we're doing video number two in the success series. The first video went up on January 1st, 2015, and the video, in a nutshell, is about how you and I are going to make 2015 our best year ever. We're going to talk about all sorts of things, tips, strategies, techniques, ideas, anything that it takes to help make us as success successful as possible. Wow. Pronounce your words, Curtis. Come on, do better. Um, but with that aside, guys, there is one special topic that you need to, that I'm going to start with, and that topic is this: you must, in order to achieve anything great in life, whatever it is, you must have a burning desire to a do, achieve, or accomplish something. When I say desire, please understand that I'm not talking about wanting something or wishing for something. I'm talking about desiring something. It's got to burn white hot. You have to have a chief definite aim or a chief definite goal in life and then push all your chips in to achieve it. That is the most important thing. Now, I'm not trying to say, you know, negative things about anything else. You need to have a plan. You have to have a strategy. You have to be able to execute, come up with new ideas. You got to be able to deal with, you know, mistakes and temporary defeats and work well with other people and positive mental attitude. All of those things are necessary to achieve something in life, but none of those things count if you don't have something you're going after, something that just sort of consumes you and burns up inside and makes you want to do that. Everybody that makes it big in this world has to have that. Now, if you don't have that right now, I'm not putting you down because a lot of people don't have it. In fact, most people never figure out what that is, and that's really sad, but a lot of people go through life and they don't get there. But a lot of people do. And for, so those you, for those of you that are watching this, I'm going to assume that a lot of you, and it's just a guess, but it's probably a good one, you want to be a YouTuber. You want to make a living off of YouTube. You want to be a YouTube star. Maybe you're a musician. Maybe you want to be a comedian. Maybe you want to be a gamer that records gameplay footages and makes it big. Whatever it is. Doesn't matter. In order to achieve something, you must have this burning desire. You can't have a plan B. You can't have a... You know, it would be nice if this happened, but if it doesn't happen, you know, I'll go do something else. No, can't do that. When you know what you want, when you know what you desire, go for it. That's my, that's my suggestion here. Now, I could talk and talk and talk about this, but I want to give you an idea. I want to give you a, uh, I, I guess you'd call it, we'll talk about George. I don't even know what the hell the word is, an analogy or maybe a, a, a case study if you're in business school. But I want to talk to you about George. George is CEO of Freedom. Freedom, as you know, gets 10 million, I don't know, gets, it's made $10 million in its first year. That's what I meant to say. It gets 1.5 billion views every 30 days. We have 80,000 partners in the network. I'm not bragging. These are just facts. These are just stats. And George is the CEO of it. And if you didn't know better, you would think that George is some superstar guy that just had everything in the world given to him and boom, he's just like magic. But I'm telling you... He's a regular guy just like you and me. And I know this because I've known George for 25 years. I met him when I was 13 years old. We played computer together and then, you know, we hung out. I was really good friends with his brother, who's now the COO of this company, Mirko. And, you know, I was really good friends and, you know, I'd hang out. We played video games and then, you know, as we got older, we would hang out at my dad's house and we'd play pool or we would go play Scrabble because I'm a nerd and he's a nerd. And we played badminton on Friday nights. We play badminton, and I'd show up normal. He'd show up in green shorts with black socks up to his knees, because I don't know. That's how he did. But my point here is, he's a regular guy. He grew up. He has a regular family. He's got a regular upbringing. He's a super nice guy. He's got. All, he's nicer than he is in the videos. Make no mistake. He's crazy nice, and he's either like the nicest guy in the world or you're a serial killer. Because when you look at his videos, you can't know. But I'm telling you, no. He's a super nice guy. But my point is, is he's a regular guy. And for 25 years, I've known him. 21 of those years, he was just a regular dude. He went, he had a job. He did his thing, like I just said. He used to work for Microsoft. And he would work during the day. And he would watch movies at night on his big projector screen. Yada, yada, yada. But one day, it changed. He got that burning desire. And I know this. Because I remember the day that he called me. He quit his job at Microsoft. He put all of his stuff in this little red Skylark or some tiny little crappy car that's worth like $400. He drove back to Canada and when he was stuck at the border, he's like, hey, Curtis, how you doing? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing all right, George. Well, I'm coming to Canada and I'm going to start a company 
and it's going to be hugely successful one day, and we're going to keep doing this until we're awesome, until we make it. You know what? I want to be the CEO, or I want to be a boss of a company, not because he's a bossy type guy, but he just wants to run a company. You know, he wants to make it big. He wants to promote, you know, kindness and cheer and do motivational speaking and work with people he wants to work with on terms that he wants to work on. And then he was just going to persist until it happened. And it was a crazy burning desire. I've never seen anything like it. And anyway, people tried to talk to him, say, you know, George, you should probably, you know, quit or, you know, you should go get a job at Google or whatever. But no, George knew what he wanted and he made it happen. George is just like you and me. And the day that he changed was the day I knew and everybody knew now in hindsight, he was going to make it. That's the lesson for you. If you, if that day happens for you, do it. When you figure out what you want to do in life and you've got that desire, doesn't matter what anybody else says, do whatever you need to do, make it happen, guys. That is my success story today. We talked about George. We're going to be back tomorrow or, or no, next week, pardon me, and we've got a whole new topic. I think it's positive mental attitudes. The next one, yeah, 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 you got a PMA. But today's video, yeah, you got to have that desire. Figure it out. What is it that you want to do in life? What, what drives you? When you know, push all your chips in and go for it. It's your boy, Big C, checking out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for thumbsing up. I'll be back soon. Cheers.